Hold on. Is this dirty? We didn't write any notes. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year, Raina. Woo! How are you? I'm all right. You just got back from a trip and you're not coughing anymore and you don't sound sick and you sound perfectly normal. Thank you so much. Must so be clear. Good to be back. It's very good to be back. Um, I would like to blame my sickness and bad voice on all the fires and the smokes, smokes that we experienced. <laughs> The Thomas fire is fully contained. Oh, thank goodness. I think as of a week ago. Magic. 2018 is off to a weird start. And I think it's the biggest fire in California. Oh, they actually hit it? because so. Dude, I, I just don't understand the numbers because like while it was happening, they were like, oh, it's the second largest forest fire. And I'm like, really? It's covering up all of California. Pretty sure it's the biggest. But yeah. I finally, finally saw Frozen. What? Wait the oh the the ice movie wait that's stupid. yes no I mean the yes, skiing the, ice movie. the skiing one with the with the with the wolves and the ones where they're stuck on the on the ski lift. No 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 the the famous Disney movie Frozen. Are you serious? You've yes, never seen I Frozen. I finally saw it. And no! I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm a fan of the message. Have yeah. you seen Frozen? Of course. It's wonderful. Alyssa was telling me when we were watching it, hey, they haven't done this in a Disney movie before. And I'm like, oh, did they kill the main character? What? Uh, oh, no. The- no, turns out it's just a, an empowering, it's not just a, it's an empowering message for women. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So I thought that would win me some points with you. Oh. <laughs> and uh, uh, maybe if I if I said that, you would avoid not mentioning, um, you would avoid mentioning the, uh, the thing that I, the lack of a uh, video... Oh, oh, that's okay. Those are two very different things. I'm still going to call you out, especially because you just gave me that landmine. But guess why there weren't two episodes in the beginning of the year? It's been two weeks also, since 2018. Guess what? what? That entire setup was on purpose. I knew that would cause you to mention it. And yeah. now you've fallen into my trap. Wow, you're the mastermind. Guess what? Yeah. What I just said there was also a trap cool. to make it more comedic and to take less heat off of me. It's not really taking that much heat off of you. We would all still like an apology. Let you know what? No, I'm sorry. We're 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 getting off track a little bit. So uh, we first would like to. He would first like to apologize for uh, missing the first two episodes in 2018. Before I left for Japan, I was like, "Suppy." And guess what? This was all part of my plan because you just apologized for me. I did. Can you just apologize already so I can stop the charade? But seriously, he was all like, oh, don't worry. I have a week and a half off of Sugar Pine 7 that I have to take off. So don't worry. I'll take a bo- take care of Boys Only Club. You don't have to worry about it. You can just go to Japan and have a good time and don't worry about it. What a lie. Well, turns out I didn't take a week off. Um, so I didn't uh, Great. exactly have time. I understand. The good news is, the bad news is, wow. is that... I sort of, every time I talk about work, I sort of feel like one of those terrible LinkedIn posts that people are, are putting on Twitter. What does that mean? Why are people putting their LinkedIn You haven't on? seen that one? No. It went around I've a little while ago. A little That's bit. like the big thing right now is people posting horrible LinkedIn. I'm sure a lot of them are made up, but horrible LinkedIn things. That's so Twitter. funny. Like, uh, like I, excellent at juggling. No, no. Oh, even worse? It's like stories that people will write. Like uh, there was this one that was... Are they fake? I should be arrested for how much... I make uh, my employee work. How whoa, whoa, whoa. It gets, really? No, it, get, it gets bad. Wait, what is Are they fake or is it like a glass door joke or is it like a... I don't get it. Well, if you'd let me get to it. You're right. Raina, I'm sorry. Let's see, I'm linked, really antsy. LinkedIn meme. It's uh, it's They're pretty good, honestly. I, I like these. Oh, God, please be it. About selling? No, this is in 2015. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry about this. It, it, better, it better be as funny as you're selling it. Is it worth the time that you've taken to look this up? I couldn't find the damn thing. Yes, we wasted quite a bit of time. But the point of it was that they're posting these things on uh, Twitter of LinkedIn profiles and posts that this one in particular was like, I made this person, uh, this employee work um, countless hours for no pay uh, all the time. What? Turns out that worker was me. And it was a motivational post. So they're posting these like motivational posts that are just awful. I see. All right. Okay. That would have been very funny to see because that buildup was very good. And it makes me really feel bad about how much I talk about working. Why? I don't know. I think it's because. I like work. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I really do. That's all it is. Um, But it's it's talking about it that makes me realize how much people don't give a shit and how it makes, uh, I mean, it turned into this Mm. as well. So it's like. Well, this is kind of 
a bizarro example. I don't think anyone it is. Talks it like doesn't that. exactly relate, but it's it's one of my favorite things that's happening right now. It's pretty funny. It's and I'm glad you're able to not share that with me. Yeah, I had no idea that that was going on. Hey, did you deflect? Apo- apologize. All right. Sorry, I'm not good at apologies. Mm. The past, you know, a couple of weeks, I've been. You know what? I'm not going to make this about me. Or work. We're sorry. Hey. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry too. I did say I was specifically like, "Don't I'll poke you just in case," and then I didn't because I didn't want to bother you. But I'm was- also sorry. <laughs> to add on to Raina's apology, yeah. I'm, I'm very sorry that there wasn't a video. But um, we're not dead. Videos. I got a lot of messages that were like, "Is Boys Only Club canceled?" And I'm like, "Uh, I maybe think it's someday." Good. I think it's good. And I was gonna um, direct them to just start tweeting at you because mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know the answer. Ask him. That's the way to do it. He could kill it. Who knows? You got enough know. tweets. In the past couple of weeks. Yeah, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Um, this is actually the first time I'm talking about it publicly. I've been interested to see everything in your brain that happened during that. Yeah, especially because it turned into something else. Like, it, I just intended to post it as being like, fuck, you're weird. Why the, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of my country. And then it turned into like a really big weird racial thing because his fans are bananas and they're children, which is extremely scary and sad. And then, yeah, and now it's just... Now it's about something else. Shane Dawson happened, and then other things happened, and well, everybody forgot. The Shane forgot. Dawson thing was pretty unfair. That was fucked up. That I mean, wait, was it a conspiracy thing? Like where um, the managers of yeah, his uh, Logan... his whole statement, like the joke wasn't good, but it was a joke, and it was taken out of context. And it was many, many years ago. It was years ago. The dudes changed so but much since then. His that's comedy. That's what I mean. Wasn't it a setup? Like, wasn't there a conspiracy about how it was a setup from like the Logan? Paul's manager to take or something. the heat off of yeah 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 wasn't it a thing I don't know I mean oh. the channel that did it to him was around for a while mm-hmm. and they'd created other videos uh, exactly the same yeah about different people not exactly the same con- like uh, topic but I guess it's kind of uh, bad of us to be commenting on something that we're not like very sure about but I do think I read that it was a setup and they were paid oh. to do this video that's news that to me blackmailed wow. yeah. Not blackmailed, but like basically uh, tarnished. Reina. Yeah, that tarnished you Shane that? Dawson. Um, everywhere you could look it up. Actually, oh, wow. would you like to waste some more time and do that? Yeah, right. Just. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I kind of wanted because I want you to see. It's it's really interesting, and you'd find it interesting as well. But then I didn't look further into it, and it fizzled. And I have you know my own life. So yeah, you know, I mean, we've I all said off. things years ago that we're just not like we'll we'll look back on and be like, oh God, yeah, why? And yeah. This definitely. was definitely one of those scenarios where it's he's not like hiding from it. No, he made a really bad joke back in the day when everything was new and everything was when the Wild his West. And style of humor was shock he was value. So, yeah, and he was I so I used to different. watch Shane Dawson all the time. Oh, really? I, oh, yeah. I really never liked it. I don't like that what? screaming, like, fuck your mom kind of thing. Like, well, there it was, wasn't always like that. He did, it wasn't. He did right. a bunch of different characters that uh, bordered on racially insensitive and to also racist, which at the time when I was like younger, I found funny. I yeah, really did. Yeah. And that's I mean, because I was ignorant. And, uh, and so was he. And so I think he. he would be fair to admit that, yeah. Yeah, and also, I do think that there's always, I think actually Phil mentioned this often when talking about comedians and the lines that you cross as like an entertainer or comedian to get to either get shock value or for whatever it is you're entertaining for. But like, when you know you're in a comedy show or when you know you're watching comedy entertainment, you have to suspend your moral and ethical And you know, a lot of people face. don't believe that. Well, why? Because, I mean, you're entering, like, not a safe zone, but I, I believe that you're entering, like, an arena where things are a little bit loose. Obviously, there are still lines. I believe that it, you have to... How else do you find borders? That's what I mean. Like what you can and can't say? Of course, yeah. That's what I mean. And, like, you, you go there, there are still obviously lines to not cross, yeah. but I feel like the comedy does earn a little bit of levity in that space, and you're supposed to be allowed to be... A little bit more messed up. I agree, up, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And we operated like that always. It's just like, well, we're all consenting. Oh, it was and, like <laughs> laughing. Man, yeah, at SourceFed, it was just a wild, wild west. It of was. Everything that you could say. Well, it used to be when we were doing Super Panic Frenzy. Yeah, that was, oh man, that was fun. It yeah. was fun having like a, And then it got a little cucky. <laughs> Around the 2017 mark, got a little bit cucky. Well, that's like way, that was just last year. Oh, and it was very cucky. Very, very cucky. <laughs> But uh, oh man, I want to talk more about the Logan Paul. Yeah, thing. sure, sure. Go ahead. Uh, like honestly, this is the first time I'm talking about it in English to like an English person. Yeah, we'll talk about it in Japanese. Oh, you're more comfortable. Yeah, this is hazukashi. This is okay, um, okay. no. Um, what do you want to know about? I it guess let's just... go from the beginning. Where did yeah. you first hear about it? Mike 
first told me about really? it. Really? Dude, was Mike January. is my little social media guy. No, he's he just is, there. He, dude, he's he's probably, fucking on it. He probably knows about he's the He's fucking on shit. social media nonstop. Fucking on it. Guy's but, got 13 iPhones. <laughs> oh, God, I wish. Um, he goes, did you see the shit that's happening? And I think it was actually jack septic eyes post i don't remember who but it was mm. someone like that someone i love and he was just like did you see this and it was kind of like reactionary and then he just kind of i think read a quick rundown of it so he could relay me the information and then i thought it was a hoax mm -hmm. because it was like so fresh and happening exactly in that moment and everything was like coming down from it so um when i looked it was still posted you could still see it yeah um and then like literally moments later, it was gone, but there were a lot of other uploads of it. I couldn't even bring myself to watch it. I felt like sick. I don't know if it was just, I was so shocked that anybody could do it, but also like I was in Japan and New Year's is a really special day. It's mm -hmm. like a holy day in Japan. It's the only like religious, so to speak, day in Japan. So like of all days, it was like a very bizarre moment to choose to do that. So it's but, like 9-11 day here? Uh, kinda, yeah. It's like shitting on a veteran's grave on 9-11. Like yeah. that's kind of what it is. Or like, on veterans day. Or Oh, okay. That would have made more sense. Yes. But it's more like... It's like shitting on a terrorist grave in 9-11 in day. But see, like, in a way, it's it's like many different offenses in one. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, a veteran, like, that's the extra of being 9-11 yeah, no, and a veteran. Yeah, no, it's a of a bunch of different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like not just one, mo like, momentous thing. It's like many different, like, shits. Um, but, so, and uh, I'm not... Relig my family isn't religious per se, but we're really traditional and we're really close to our shrine. So it bothered me personally. And I felt, A, I personally felt like I wanted to make a statement about it because I'm just like, I, you're, I'm in Japan. Like, yeah. you're in my country. What the fuck are you doing? And also, it was really sad. Like, what he did was really, really atrocious because of the circumstances. Like, it's somebody that... Is dead. From suicide. Yep. Like, it's it's so many layers. And also, a lot of the argument was that, like, well, maybe people see the suicide forest as a tourist attraction to a degree because it is kind of popularized on the internet or it's like, you know, it's made popular there. So uh, people are kind of misconstruing it to be like, well, then why even have a tourist? It's not a tourist attraction. Nobody should go there. It's literally. Yeah, like, that definitely is a common misconception that it's just like a somewhere to visit. A hoaxy right? thing like no, it's suicide not, forest. No, they it's made like, a movie about it. That's what I mean. Like that. that How'd you feel about the movie? Ooh, I didn't like that either. Like, well, it was a bad movie. It was a bad movie. And also, like, I don't live far from there. Um, I live at the base of Mount Fuji in Shizuoka and Yamanashi, where Aokigahara is. Um, it's like only a one and a half hour car ride. Like not even through the mountain. That's it. So it's like really close. Have you ever been there? No, of course not. You've never been to Suicide Forest? No, never. I have a, why um, would I? That's the thing. Like why ever would I? As somebody that's from that place, it's not even worth thinking about. My friend's ex would also never go in a, to, towards the forest. His family lived very close to it. Mm, really? Yeah, he would never enter. Is that just commonplace for most Japanese people? Is that they're not ever going to go near the forest? What, just any forest or the suicide forest? The suicide forest. forest. Yeah, like we just, it, it like, uh, like I said before, it's not religion, but like we do have like weird traditional things and it feels like it has bad juju. Like it feels like it's where people go to kill themselves. Like, how did it get the name suicide forest? I mean, uh, why, and why did people choose that place to kill themselves? Because um, it's so secluded? It's super secluded and you can get lost in it instantly. So if you want to go somewhere where you don't want people to find you and you don't want to, let's say, like jump off a cliff into the water. It's just so curious how those, those things get started and why... The, like so many people would kill themselves in that forest and to a point where they would call it suicide forest. Well, I mean, like How do you I get said, the ball rolling on that. I don't well, even know. I mean, there are a lot of like cliffs or bridges in the U S where people often kill themselves yeah, on and it's like, like suicide it's, bridge. Yeah. And it's like in known Glendale, to be such. Yeah. Or Pasadena. I don't remember. I thought it was San Francisco, but like there's uh, one in, in LA. We'll see. Like there we filmed there. Yikes. It was distasteful. Yeah. But see what I mean? Like there's like many places where those things happen. But like I guess in Japan, because it's a forest, it's maybe a little bit like extra bizarre. But the idea is, to answer your question before, you wander into it and it's so deep and vast that it's like a sea of trees and yeah. you can't get out. So you, it's an ideal place to go to like really end How yourself. How big is the forest? Freakish. It's freakish. So you can't yeah? get out. Dude, you can't get out. There's no way. There are people that tried to go in with a rope on one end. And after the rope ends, like you have to tread back through your rope or else it's it's over. Like you can't get back. It, there's no trail because it's not somewhere you're supposed to visit. But yeah. anyway, enough about the forest itself. Um, 
it's just bothersome. No one in their right mind would just wander off in there. It's also dangerous. Like, why would you go somewhere that might have bears? Like, it's really, a fucking, it has bears. Oh, because it's a forest. forest. It's just straight up forest. So what was your anything. initial reaction? I I felt sick. I I've had a friend commit suicide when I was way younger, um, and it was really difficult to deal with because like we were all teenagers and I think adolescent. we even talked about this on a podcast yeah. yeah it was rough um so there's that and there's also just like uh japan doesn't take death lightly at all ever under any circumstances even though like we're known to be to have like a high suicide rate also south korea does as well but like a lot of asian countries do um we don't take it lightly, you know, like the, I like we are very careful about our dead and we have like a ceremony and a ritual and like we believe in things and we believe in not disturbing them. So like it really is many levels, right? Like it's not not only disturbing something that doesn't make any sense to disturb to begin with. It's also somebody that like eh, it's just such an awful circumstance to mock or not. I know he's not maybe mocking it. He claimed he was in shock. I get it. There are people that have like really bizarre reactions yeah, in shock. But like ha, you edit the video <laughs> like you know yeah, I mean, mean the, the thing that people say is like it went through a team of people to get to that point. Yeah, he's I not that editing his own videos. I it went through too. the people that were in that forest filming with him yeah. to him uh, producing it to an editing team yeah. to probably like, I don't know if his manager watches the videos or what, but my God, which leads me to my final question about it. Yeah. And it's the most important one. No, it's not. But it's one of them. Do you believe Logan Paul deserves a second chance? Aww. It's a tough question, but it's one that you don't have to answer. Um, but you should for the sake of uh, this entertainment let's see does he deserve a second chance I think no only because no no looking for life no no looking for life and here's why por supuesto I know or does that mean of course <laughs> I don't know Um, he may have made a dire mistake and people are allowed to make a few mistakes in life but I think this was beyond the scope of like a normal person I think this mistake is like so beyond a normal person's allowance of mistakes to be made. You think everyone has to, there's a quota that you there's can reach? I think there are limits to everything. Like there are, there are lines to cross, right? I think. Um, and Do you believe a murderer could get a second chance, a new lease at life if their murder was It depends on the heinous. circumstances. Well, Not, it depends, totally depends on the circumstances. What if somebody's coming at my mom? No, and, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about someone that goes out of the way to, to murder somebody. Why would, why did they murder this person? Because of uh, they wanted to. What? Because they wanted to murder them. What? Because they wanted to know what it feels like to murder? Sure. Yeah, no, that's a serial killer. They don't deserve any... Se- what? Say, okay, <gasps> let's do a new scenario. Say you're robbing a uh, 7-Eleven, okay? okay? You got Why? your gun pointed Why at Why am the, I robbing a 7-Eleven? You you are... Why no, am no, I? Okay, anyone else's. So the person that is anyone else has their gun pointed at the cashier. Okay. They're like, hey, uh, give, uh, put the, put the, hey, and then they, their gun goes off. Oh! Accidental murder. Do they deserve a second chance? A new a new lease at life? No, 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 no. How many years of prison or life in prison? Life in prison. Okay, let's do a new scenario. Yeah. Anyone is has a gun held up to the person at the cash register. Cash register person pulls out a gun. They're both pointing guns at each other. They're saying, "Hey, no, no, no! Put the put the gun down! Put the gun down!" The person cash register person shoots. The, the person who was shooting the person who's robbing didn't want to shoot them. Yeah, but, but they, they get got shot, shot. Yeah, so they're like, ah. And then they shoot them back. Do oh. they deserve a new lease on life? And they kill them. What? Then wouldn't one of them just die? They both fire the cashier each other? dies. Ca- the cashier dies. The other person's hospitalized and then sent to prison. Do they deserve, do they deserve a new lease at life? No. Okay. Scenario three. Um, you've got two people uh, at the ca- at the cash register pointing guns at just a person who doesn't have a gun. Um, Wait, the both- cash register people. There's two cash register people, and they're pointing the guns at an uh, at a customer. But the customer's a terrorist. How do they I know open that the customer's terrorist? Why do I know that the customer's terrorist? Both of the cashiers die. What? Because of the terrorist? Because of the explosion. What? It's very simple right now. Are no, you not, why are you not this following? Is, and then what's, what's your question? What's your final question? What happens when the terrorist kills the cashiers? What happens? Thank you for that horrendous tangent um, that we had to cut out twice. Okay, so... <laughs> um, I think Logan Paul crossed that line not because of his content but because he pretty much brainwashed his audience and I think that's a dangerous power to hold so it's not really a matter of he himself is just being punished so to speak by not being able to come onto the platform or whatever the punishment is um second chance whatever you want to call it I think his influence is already so skewed and dangerous in a bad direction that allowing him a second chance would be a very bad message so to send across for the greater everyone. good 
Yeah, because it's such a bad message. Like, why why should he get a second chance? So that everybody that has been screaming that he should get a second chance gets what they want because they could just scream and cry for it? It's kind of what I see a Where little bit. Where do you bit. think that audience will, audience will go if he gets off of YouTube? I don't Hopefully know. Hopefully to us, baby. I don't know. Ew, that's disgusting. No, they would go to his brother. Um, wait, can I tell you something really disgusting and sad that happened? And I like don't really have any words to explain how much I hate YouTube for this. So... Because of my Logan Paul video, obviously there is a huge influx of people from Logan Paul's channel of course. coming over to mine to shit on me, mm -hmm. expectedly. But because of that, under the here's my friend's YouTube channel on your main page, mm -hmm. under that it says related channels, and Logan Paul's channel is the first one on mine. <laughs> What? Are you ready for this shit? That's the icing on the ass crack. Are you Holy ready for shit. this shit? And you know how YouTube works. If you turn that off, you don't populate on other people's channels as much. So if you don't turn that on, like there's an option to turn it off. But if you turn it off, you don't populate nearly as much. Oh my God, across did you get that turned off? No, you have it turned on. Thank God. Yeah, but. but we need all the help we can get. That's what I'm talking about. So it's a catch 22 and there's pretty much no way to get around it. And it would be silly right now for me to turn it off simply because. But. See, this is you choose this, right? You choose this area. Of course. Who are your friends? The related channels. Holy oh my god. Logan Paul shit. Vlogs number 1. That's that's hilarious. I think, in its own way. In its own way, I do see the humor in it and I'm like down to make fun of it, but this is so fucked up. But also wish it wasn't the case. But all yeah, you can do I is wish, make fun of it. I know. Like, I'm down to make fun of it, but like also want to fucking call you out YouTube. This is disgusting. You know, I was thinking about um all those people that, you know, posted terrible things in your comments section, they're all mostly kids, right? I think they're For all the children. Most, like, I'd say 99% of those people are kids. I'm pretty That's sure they're totally children. And, and I was curious how you really felt about that because you can't take that stuff too seriously because those kids, yeah, you know how kids are in school. You yeah. Know? They're I just mean, fucked up. Every kid is just so fucked up. And they say some fucked up shit. So I... Everybody was so supportive and kind and they're like, I can't believe these fucking people say these things to you. Holy shit. Let me get something straight. To be totally honest, the only time an onslaught has ever, ever fucked me up was our collab with Funhouse in 2014. Oh, yeah. Ever since then, nothing fucking hurts. So seriously, like, it's like, A, I know that they're children. Their grammar's ridiculous. Also, they're saying, like, out of control things, like, out of control Oh, my shit. God, dude. So you know they're children, right? Like, there, it's one thing to say a logical point and then hurt me with your intelligence. But then there's another to be like, ching chong, ding dong. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's only so much you can get upset at. It is an onslaught, so it's tiring, and it really upset my family, which is kind of sad. That's why I'm like, "Fuck you." Do they know you. about it? Yeah, of course, dude. I hit like, I hit news in Japan, and like everybody fucking contacted me because it's all like, "Uh, what's happening?" Why didn't happening? they contact me? I'm I know. Basically, your partner. You're basically my brother. Uh, do they not want a an American white man's opinion on how <laughs> Japanese people feel? I guess not. Oh God. <laughs> They're um, lost. They're lost. You know, I was shit. very offended recently. I was playing Overwatch, and some dude just called me the N word. Just <laughs> why? I don't know. I bet it's a kid. And then Is it I was a kid? also I was playing Overwatch the other day. This dude makes a joke about I don't remember what it was, but it was silent for ten seconds afterwards, and he just goes like, hey, "Is anyone gonna laugh?" <gasps> and I felt so bad. I, I added him as a friend. No, you didn't. But he declined it. That's a petty. All right. He declined my friend request. All right. That was a pity, pity party. I think he was. Request. I think that was the joke, though, that's in hindsight, not, because no. that's brilliant. No, it's not. Is anyone gonna? It's like Ted Cruz, not Ted Cruz. Uh, Jeb Bush asking, "Clap, please. Oh. Please clap." <laughs> yeah. But this okay. At least it's aware, self-aware. Yeah. Fine. That's so silly. Wow. They were children, though. Yeah. The one yeah. that called you the N-word? See what I mean? It doesn't hurt when they're kids. Oh, nope. <gasps> An adult? An adult? Certainly was. It was, wow. I'd say, I mean, based on his voice, it was probably, he was in the age range of 16 to 20. Oh, that's still kind of a kid. Kind of, yeah. They're kind saying of. that the new age of adolescence is raised from 19 to 24. Because, what? Why? Because millennials Inept are marrying. Idiots. Because millennials are marrying later and they're... Mm. Uh, that's uh, it, I think. That's There's, it? That can't be it. We're marrying later? They're pushing marriage off. 
Well, yeah. And they're doing other bullshit. Yeah, it's, that makes sense, I guess. Um, I thought that... Wait, what, median age in college... Oh, wait, actually, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 24. Wouldn't the median age in college be like 20, 21? No, actually, you graduate at 21. So that's why I was like... Well, only the stupid kids graduate well, at 21. No, the normal kids graduate mm. at 21 with two degrees. Um... But that's what I thought I was an adult at 17 because at 17, you can technically, or I guess it is 18, 18 huh? To choose then you to, can smoke cigarettes. You can smoke ciggies. And also you can excuse yourself from school legally. Yeah, it is 18. Yeah. You can excuse yourself from school legally at 18. Yeah. Because you're an adult. You are consenting for yourself. As opposed to beforehand, your parents have to sign off for you to stay in school if it's a public school, I think. Colleges should not have anything that says you get marked off of your grade for not showing up to class. I think it's just a professor by professor basis. And fuck professors that do that. Seriously, if your parent attendance? out there is a professor or if you're a prof professor and you do that, uh, you count eat attendance? a shit. Yeah. If I could read your textbook and I can ace your fucking exam, That's all I you need, that baby. I deserve that A, baby. Wow. I miss college a little bit. Really? Yeah, it was really fun. I was very, I had a really good time. I, was I did not busy, have a good college experience because mine was a community college and we just, I was able to walk to college basically oh, from my parents' house. Oh. And I would dress in cargo shorts Ooh, and, uh, who is quick, this boy? and a red quick silver t shirt and I'd have this hair. Uh, that's this current like, hair? Yeah, Maybe. but longer and it would just go down and it was fucking miserable. I'd have to flip my hair to the side. You still do that. Uh, the worst part of it all was that I didn't know how to uh, condition, condition my face. Wait, no. I didn't know anything about it. Your face? I didn't know how to clean my face oh. and put lotion on, so I had dry face <laughs> issues. The entirety of college, all of college, you were dry and flaky. Oh yeah, Ooh. it was miserable. Yeah, and, and wait, you were in Wisconsin? Was it cold? It was Chicago. Yeah, it was oh, very oh, cold. Very cold. Very yeah, cold very dry. Kim just visited Chicago for the first time, and he's like, "Dude, I've been to Canada. Like, I know what I'm doing." Why, I don't know why does he's he British. have a British accent? I don't know. <laughs> He texts me. He's like, "Oh, it's colder than Iceland. I've never been to Iceland." And I told That's him, fucking "Chicago, hilarious. for some reason, it's the windy city, and it's the coldest goddamn place in the world." I swear. It's probably because it's very, very dry. I learned so that near Lake Michigan. That's why. Mm? It's next to Lake Michigan. That's why. Oh, oh, I see, I see. So it freezes from over there. Yeah. Whoa. Japan's pretty cold in the winter. Probably not as cold as Chicago. It's not, but I live in a paper house, so it's cold inside, too. <laughs> I'm so jealous of the house you get to go over to over there. Uh, the new house or the old paper house? The one you did a video of. Oh, the new house is nice, yeah. <sighs> That's a nice house. The lighting is incredible in there. Like, I probably don't ever have to bring lighting in Or there. leave. Or leave. I would ever. never leave if I was out there. It's so nice. They're so, like, and the balcony um, kind of surrounds the area, so if you just put a canopy really down, you can to Japan this have year. a private... Lounge. I think I'm going to make that a goal. You want to go to Japan this year? Japan's pretty nice. Um, I suggest going in October. Uh, that is when the tickets are cheapest and the weather is fairest. Is it really? Yes, it's very climate. It's cheaper when the weather is fairer. Um, Japan has extreme this weather. It's really hot in the, in the warmer. Really hot in the warmer and really cold in the winter. Like, true, like, oh, I remember so you saying fucking that, yeah. cold. Yeah. So in uh, spring, it's honestly the best, but that's when it's most expensive. Winter flight's the Sakura. cheapest. October. September, October, because everybody goes back to school. And it's oh. also like, I think seasonally, like there are no Sakura blossoms. There are no festivals. Like the biggest things in the year for us are New Year's, summer, Golden Week and Sakura blossom time. So have you talked to any people that are Japanese that have opinions on the Logan Paul situation? Yeah, a yeah. lot of people. Holy shit. Yeah, I did like a bunch of interviews in Japan for it. Do you think the consequences he's getting are sorry, we're going back into this. Do no, you think the okay. consequences he's getting are enough? Uh, what, like, do the Japanese people think it's enough, or do I think it's enough? Do you think it's enough? Like, getting um, his YouTube Red show canned and uh, getting taken off of the preferred platform? Mm, I honestly think he shouldn't be allowed to make videos anymore on YouTube. Like, he should be banned from YouTube. You should be able to put that stuff up there and get a slap on the wrist. Do you think the they're worried that if he went to another website like Facebook or something, it would draw traffic away from YouTube? They probably are, which is why they're taking this really carefully but like and they're not just making an outright statement because you know he's a cash cow that's all he is like do you think youtube was right with how they handled the situation oh not that's a that's an interesting one no not at all but i have a lot of issues with youtube that like extend far beyond this current like logan paul situation like youtube is so fucked up right now <laughs> so i on a if any chance to disagree with them i'll just disagree with them how do you think 
do you think YouTube even gives a shit? No. YouTube, no. YouTube's a company. Do they, do they have to? No, it's a do company. Do they have to give a shit? There is a little bit of a moral obligation being, knowing that, like, as an, in the entertainment industry, like, you have influence over people that are almost, like, demanded to watch your stuff. Um, broadcast television's a little bit different. They're blocked off in time, so you are forced to watch stuff if you have that cable package. So it's different. YouTube, you have a choice. But... Knowing the power and influence you have over an audience, um, there needs to be a bigger moral responsibility in like what the influencers and content creators are doing, especially because there are such incredible people out there. Like that's the problem. The the vast majority is actually phenomenal. Like YouTube is is a magical place. If I need to fucking learn anything, I've learned it off of YouTube, period. Like that's how amazing that platform is. So to have people like this destroy it in their own way, I feel like YouTube is taking more of a business money grubby perspective than being like, we with integrity want this platform to thrive as an information platform that is appropriate. Why did Japan not ban Logan Paul? Japan is very polite. Aww. Like, truly. Japan is extremely, extremely polite. That's and, sweet. Um, you'd have to do... We, we have our own steadfast, intense rules. Like... Like you're, you don't like eat and walk at the same time. Like you don't drink and eat and walk at the same time. Really? Like even a bottle of water, like you don't walk and drink at the same time. Nobody does it. And if you do it, people are going to stare at you. Um, but there's no like law written about it. It's just, it's impolite to do. And if you spill everywhere, you look like a fucking jackass. So it's, and also Japan's a small country. It's really easy to like have people behave in the same ish way. Yeah. Um, and, and kind of have a lot of unity with each other. So if you're the one black sheep that's like fucking shit up for everybody, you're embarrassed. So as a country that operates like that, like without having explicit rules, but knowing that you don't want to screw with each other, they're very polite with foreigners as well. And even if they hate him or hate the idea of him, they wouldn't, I don't think, take like affirmative action in that way of like banning him from the entire country. If you were to do maybe one more thing, it might it might happen. Like this is pretty bad and this is close. And one thing I do want to mention in the very beginning of my video, I said that like this doesn't a lot of people are concerned that this changes how Japanese people think of white people and foreigners in general, like pe visitors in Japan. And I in my video said it doesn't really change how Japan, Japanese people think of white people. Because like, it's already what they thought? No, no. He's just like, they know that he's a fucking outlier. He's just a psycho. That's among, good news at least. Yeah, among like all human beings, right? My one mistake was that Japan, although has, they, they have their own like thriving YouTube channels and communities. Like they have like really bustling, crazy oh, channels. No. J it, it is still young over there. And there are less people that are like loud and doing that kind of stuff on the platform. So it is definitely dementing how Japanese people feel about YouTubers. I was about to say, it yeah. Really is. Yeah, because it is new there. It, and it's, it's, Americans alike. Because, it's true, yeah. yeah. I didn't think it was going to have this much of an impact as YouTuber overall, as a career. I didn't think it was going to do that. It is, and I was totally wrong about it. Like, I can't believe how many people have blanketed the concept of YouTuber with Logan Paul. That Dude, is so destructive. We try so hard to push the boundaries of, like, what can be on YouTube, and... This just feels like a setback. Not that we really push those boundaries that much, but no, our goal really is, is to be able to, because like actors don't take us seriously. People that we want to be in videos, they'll never take us seriously there's because no we're place. YouTubers. Yeah, and there's no real place. It's just so frustrating when people can't do things good. It felt like there was going to be, or there probably is. I know there's a paradigm shift going on with the digital entertainers. Um, a, being able to step foot into traditional media. So that's already happening. That bleed through is already happening. So that's excellent. But I thought we were in an age where it was going to shift and the digital entertainers were going to almost take over. And that was going to be where the main information, our main entertainment was coming from, especially with the advent of like Netflix being what they are and the giant that Amazon is doing their own streaming content. But this is a huge step back. It like feels this, like it, yeah. This is a huge, yeah, a huge knot and confusion for people that didn't already didn't trust digital media. We need a YouTuber version of an Oprah speech from the Golden Globes. Oh my God, that would that would help. That would very much help. We need someone to do that. And I don't think anyone on YouTube is capable there, because it, we've never a had a YouTube scope. Oprah. It's yeah. We've had Tyler Oakley, he's close. Pretty not bad, not bad. <sighs> this is the one I was very sad about this. So um I love I Justine mm -hmm. just because she has always oh, been. Oh, she got torn up. Okay, so she 
is like America's sweetheart. She's mm-hmm. YouTube sweetheart. She's one of the nicest people I've met through the YouTube nice. industry in general. Oh my god! And so I remember nice. seeing her videos so long ago when, when we were like babies. Yeah, and then well, meeting I her, I was like, oh man, I hope she's not a diva. One of the nicest people she's I've so ever nice. met in my entire life. So nice. And I watched, um, I watched her do a, like a live thing at VidCon, and um, she was so good at like being she in the moment, it. deflecting shitty stuff. She's so good at deflecting shitty stuff. Like my god, that's a skill. But anyway, wonderful entertainer like honestly if you should be like she should be trending all the time and she is and that makes sense to me like i like that it it's appropriate youtube should push her out she represents youtube in a good way yes meanwhile we believe that because we know the internal ecosystem but at ces did you see her tweet where she was like i spent so much of my time defending youtubers and content creators because i believe in us and yet i still got told But I still got asked by multiple booths, do you also film dead bodies for your YouTube videos? And I'm like, like, exactly. Like, first of all, what a goddamn ignorant and ridiculous statement to make. I just, and that's, that, that killed me. Are to those, her? are those who, what people are going up to her and saying that? I don't, so, and people in booths, I guess. I don't know. Ignorant, ignorant, idiot, idiots. Also, it's CES. Like, how could you not be on top of your game? How, do you, did you really never work with any other YouTube influencer? You, Is that possible? Whatever industry, whatever type of person that came up to her and said those things, you could easily say the same thing about some event that's happened in whatever industry they work in, whatever lifestyle they live. Yeah. You can There's something that you can get and it's just so hypocritical. It's so hypocritical and it's also like, what a blanket statement. Like really? And also of all people, I get it if you went after somebody a little bit edgier or are like you like, Are you a one of a kind sludge monster that doesn't, that's like, not existent outside of your own person and an atrocious who, human who doesn't being. have other sludge monsters to fuck up the idea of sludge monsters because I doubt it I I'm doubt it one. it's Ridiculous. just uh, frustrating how'd you feel about my tweet to you Oh my God. Were you was upset? So, I wasn't no. sure if you would be upset. I tweeted that and no. I was like, ah, is this distasteful? No. I'm just uh, trying to have fun. I'm just trying to make her feel better. Okay, here's the thing. Because your tweet was so fucking, like it was, obviously it's very important, oh my God. but it was so funny how you worded everything. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I was so, that was the first, that was my, the, the first tweet I ever put out was a gut reaction. So I get it. And I was being very like, I get out of read. my beloved country. It was just so fucking funny. I fucking love it. So yeah, I saw this tweet from you and I literally read it like Kim Jong-il was tweeting it because this is, or King Jong-un, sorry. I, I, Why are you apologizing I live in the me? past. Um, where is this? Uh, no, that's like way, way, it's like before that. Cause like, it was dude, way before of, this? Yeah, a lot of shit happened. Oh my God. A lot of shit happened. Okay. Uh, uh, Dear God, uh, you so many news publications. Okay, so the tweet was, um, my God, how many things did you retweet? I have, I've tweeted once in the past, like eight days. Yeah, well, yeah. No, oh, it's no. down, yeah. Okay. Mm-mm. We're getting close. Oh, here we go. Um, did you delete it? Uh, I don't know. No, I shouldn't have. Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, I have a lot of feelings. So do you want to, do you want me to read it? I'm uh, not going to read it in a racial way. Well, I don't, I, I, I wrote it very angrily, so. Then maybe you should say it because this is the tweet that really uh, got me going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wrote it really normally. Can you read it in anger? I have a lot of intense feelings about Logan Paul and how he has disrespected my beloved country, especially during a sacred time like New Year's. You're no longer welcome here. Get out of my beloved motherland. Beautiful motherland. But still, the word motherland, I think, is what set it off for me because I was yeah. like, I was like, oh. Uh. I know. In, in Japanese, the word motherland, bokoku, is actually... Uh, like pretty beautiful um, and it really means like my mother country that's like literally what it means like when it's translated there's really no other way to put it I was going to tweet it in Japanese but I don't really have a huge Japanese audience and the fucked up thing is a lot of the times when I tweet in Japanese a lot of people write back like I don't understand ching chong so I was just like probably not I just a good couldn't idea. help but read it like get out of my beautiful motherland <laughs> what like, why a Russian accent yeah I don't beautiful know why beautiful motherland that is badass get out, get of, out of my, my badass motherland. motherland yeah I yeah so but no uh, okay so wait wait about your tweet because I thought it was funny and then I retweet I quote retweeted it and made like a joke off of it off of mine yeah, but it wasn't like an. I didn't it was. Even it was. See it. it wasn't like a joke. It was more of like an agreeable, like "oh shit, it does" kind of thing. And people did not like that. Did you delete it? I Is that why I didn't it. see it? I had to delete. What did it. they say? Um, what did you say? Well, they were. I I actually think some of them were a little bit like, 
who is this and why do you work with him kind of thing. And I kind of didn't want the heat to go in that direction because I was getting a lot of attention from people I normally don't get attention from. Well, yeah, because you just want to, I hate straight white males yeah. to uh, receiving, to retweeting a tweet by one. Like, exactly. So, like, I, I mean, I, what, how, I married a straight white male. I never For once now. said I hate straight white males. For now. He's just a borrow. Um, but when yeah a lot of it was a little bit the heat was like towards you a little bit and really i didn't even see any heat yeah it was slightly like all i saw was a uh, hey, maybe not the time to do this yeah there was that and uh that's that's the one that was so gentle like usually when there's like garbage crap out there you kind of ignore look it at them. but like that uh maybe that wasn't such a good idea like that shit i respond to so i listen to that one and i'll be honest that doesn't bother me at all yeah that's what I mean. None of it does. Yeah. Not even the guy that called me the N word on Overwatch. That's because that's just silly. Like, what a fucking ridiculous thing. No, it wasn't thing silly. To say. It was hurtful. Marina. Oh, was it? Why was it hurtful? It wasn't hurtful to me. Oh, it was, <laughs> it was hurtful to the uh, world and the community. A group of people. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, it definitely takes uh, power away and it's it absolutely shitty does. Yeah. And thankfully, I was there to deflect it. And not have it used on somebody that would actually be affected by it. Oh, so you were able to absorb that bad. Because maybe. He energy. used his quota on me and it, quota. He, like he, used, has, he used a surplus of bad. Uh, there, he has a quota. He has to hit as many people as possible during and that say day. He did that to me and didn't do it to somebody who wow. would have been more effective. Look at by you, it. a martyr, a <laughs> true, a true saint. Indeed. Some would say a prophet, someone that suffers on behalf of all of us. I can actually tell you your future at any moment, but I choose not to. A person You'll that suffers for soon. other. Well, I knew that already. A person that suffers for other people in the Buddhist Culture is called a, a bodhisattva. Cock. Wow, no! It's called a, a bodhisattva? <laughs> yeah, a bodhisattva. That's cool. Yeah, I said They suffer for other people. Yeah, they. Uh, that's like the Buddhist idea of suffering on behalf of other people because there are other people in the world that can take it. And those people are who I'm fighting for. The people <laughs> that can take it. In the life. people that don't need it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. So what have you been up to? I've been gone for a while. I don't know what you've been up to. I've just had an onslaught of racial garbage thrown at me well i was gonna take a week off um and then you didn't and then i didn't because i had to work on the seat well i didn't oh, have to but i i wanted to put you some tell? time you didn't tell somebody that you weren't gonna do this instead and you weren't gonna take off i'm not mad reina if i recorded a third podcast in those three days i would have killed myself and then logan paul would have filmed it <laughs> <laughs> do we leave that in is that fucked we're leaving it in but Go uh on. I worked because I was just excited about the season three premiere and, you know, I got it done. And then by the time I remembered to do the Boys Only Club podcast, it was too late. And it really wasn't too late, but I just didn't do it. I know. You don't have to say that. We already know. How I only have the motivation are. when you're here. Oh, great. You know? That's that. That's so awesome. <laughs> what are you going to do when I'm in Sydney? Oh, yeah. You're going Having to RTX a ball. Sydney. Yeah. I have to go for a fucking week. Oh, well, we're going to just have to pre-record earlier than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When Isn't is it that? nice not having to worry about the camera turning off? It is magnificent. I kind of lost my shit it's 20 minutes ago. It's one file. It's one file. Fuck. One file. This camera's nice. You it's can tell so everybody nice. about your camera, your new camera. That well, you so it's much. a Canon C200. I oh. think there are a lot of reasons why it's one of the best cameras that are available, uh, that's available now. One of the reasons is that I think it's going to be approved for Netflix uh, shows. You can use uh, this camera. And specifically, the reason why is because it shoots not only MP4, 3, uh, 4K, it can also shoot 1920 by 1080, which is, which is what we're shooting for this because it's a fucking hour long uh, podcast. He wants to shoot 4K for that. Yeah. But Except it, you did it once and fucked my computer, but that's Also okay. shoots raw, Reyna. Wow. What is raw? It's uh, amazingly high quality footage. It's super flat and you can get amazing color correction with it. If you know how to do that easily. Wonderful. And I do. Great. What did you do with the other camera? Did it get sold on We're eBay? We're selling it but on eBay. It, but did people bid on it? I think there's one bid. Really? Why yeah, I put it on Instagram. Um, put if it you're, lower. If you have the money to... Um, well, because this is going towards this camera, basically. No, so. I know, but that bids don't work like that on eBay. You should start it lower. so people We did can... start it lower. Oh, you did. But it's still only at one bid. I mean, if you're in the market for a Canon 5D Mark IV uh, and you want one that you can choose to have it signed or not, um, I the link is up on eBay. I don't know if we'll put it in the oh, description see, of this video. Oh, I see, because you don't know if it's going to appreciate or depreciate it if you sign it. I see. Essentially, because you'll never be able to resell <laughs> it know. if it has those. Yeah, I They'll guess, easily I pick one that doesn't have the signatures on it. Yeah. But uh, if you're in the market for a 5D Mark IV, tweet at me and use uh, hashtag um, uh, SP7 5D. M I wow. I V M I V. 
Wow. That's so much. Hashtag SP7. Mike, you do not have to put that up on the screen. No if someone's very that. interested, no. then they'll uh, easily know what I'm talking it. about. SP7 M- just pause it SP7 and listen to it again. Yeah, M-I-V. just listen to the hashtag one more time. You want it one more time? You could do it one more time. SP7 5D MIV. Do not rip me off. I'm very smart when it comes to scammers. <laughs> do not rip me off. <laughs> what does that even mean? Sorry, do not try to rip me off. How have you been I'm... ripped off? This is so fucking funny to me. What a weird thing to suddenly say. I... <laughs> How have you been ripped off? I haven't been ripped off. I'm I just saying there so. are people on eBay that they're, they'll send you a message that's like, uh, I'm the prince. I need you to send me the, the camera. Or they'll have this weird website to pay them on, so you pay them, so they'll immediately be able to lock it in. Yeah, you know, that's, that would be silly. Or they'll pay you and be able to return or refund. Yeah, their, their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. It's like writing a bad. Joke. Got an eye for those things, Raina. Yeah, I think everyone does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, I didn't get scammed today. Congrats. <laughs> Is what I'm imagining. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of you. I that's know. okay. I I'm didn't sorry, realize I'm that sorry. it was a common trait that everybody I know, had. I'm that sorry. You, no, you're really good. You have an eye. Have unscammable, an eye I guess. Yeah, no. Then how do people get scammed? Why I'm do people sorry. try? You're right. You're right. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. You have a skill. You have a knack, and you're really sharp. And it's your mind vice at work again in 2018. Look at that. Thank you. Uh, shall we end it? No. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. It's been a fun one. It's been a fun it's been one. It's been nice. I, I missed you. It's, it's been, been nice not having you around. It's been nice. Same. It's been nice being in Japan away from you. 3,000 miles away <laughs> from you. <laughs> no, but I missed you. It was, it, this was fun. It was nice getting back into the groove of things. A little bit upset about the first time. Are you I'm invited to a uh, girls' night tomorrow? I am, but unfortunately. But you can't right? go. No. Well, you went to the bowling thing, so. That was so much fun. Was it? Yeah, I loved it. I love bowling. I love Did you bowling. kill it? No, I didn't do that well. I bet. Yeah, I didn't do that well. Well, Next thank you time. so much for thank coming you. back to the United States where you belong. Yeah, well, but I'm a, I don't, I don't want to be here. So maybe what you should do, just a, qui- a final thought. What episode of the Boys Only Club podcast is this, by the way? 42. Well, you'll see it in the title. It's 42. It's 42. You hmm? should definitely Me? do something to the United States. Oh! Uh? That is on the same level as what Logan Paul did to oh, Japan. Oh no! So the tables are equal. Wait, so is it shitting on a veteran's grave on 9/11? Is that my equal? Is that my equivalent? Or Veterans Day? No. See, again, I don't want to double up on the bad. You know, I need all the bad days. Or just combined. keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And I'll not who I am. not uh, stoop. You know. Yeah, I that was never in my that was. Never but you know what they say: stoop kids gotta leave his stoop. Stoop. <laughs> <laughs>